Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be doing another episode of one of Cardi Security's demo cars. Now, it won't be about the GR Yaris. Already two episodes that have dropped on the channel, including a security episode. We'll throw up links for those. It won't be about Palm's 997 C2S. This is proper filthy. Palm, come on, please. These are clean. We've already dropped an episode on this car, the sort of build episode. Uh, another episode is going to be filmed soon because we've changed the rear back box, the exhaust and the bumper. But today's episode will be about this, our 2016 5 litre V8 Ford Mustang. Right guys, 2016 Mustang 5 litre V8, yes we had to have the V8 model. It's stock in terms of engine, so it's about 415 brake. It's in this fantastic magnetic gray color, and we put these stripes on there now. Every Mustang deserves racing stripes. You know, it looks naked without the stripes. Did we do the right thing with the stripes? I think we did, but if you think we didn't, let us know. Right, let's talk about the suspension and the wheel setup, because obviously you can't not look at this car and think how and why well it's sitting on airlift 3p performance suspension that was done more or less straight away and how does it drive well i'm going to get the nominated driver for this vehicle purav and we'll go out for a drive uh, with purav in the car shortly and he can tell us how this car drives and if he remembers how it drove on the stock suspension so yeah airlift 3p performance suspension Now, these are 20 by 10 and a half Rotiform WGRs, all round, same size. These are probably the third of the fourth set of wheels we've had on this car. It's a demo car, so we chop and change the wheels. Prior to this, we've had three-piece KPS, and we've also had some 20 by 10 SPFs. There's been other wheels that I said I can't remember. I actually prefer these wheels. Which ones do you like? Let's talk other modifications. Well, nothing underneath the bonnet stock engine however we have changed the exhaust now the original exhaust was not loud enough you could not tell this car was a v8 so we decided to go to emp performance in st albans and they removed the original exhaust which we still have and upgraded it to a catback system with an x-pipe design and now it sounds like a proper v8 Let us know what you thought of that exhaust note. Sounds like a proper V8. Let's uh, get inside now, talk about audio, talk about the stereo, the interior, and then I'll show you the boot build. So let's go inside first. All right, guys, lovely interior, I've got to say. Yes, we went for the automatic. We live in London. Most of the driving's done in London, so I think an automatic was a no-brainer. It's got this sort of chocolate, brownie, burgundy interior. It's called Saddle. Mustang, Pony, maybe that's why they called it Saddle. Now, audio-wise, this came with a pretty good system from factory. It had a shaker audio system, which is a sub and so on and so on. That was ripped out, and we've now fitted a Kenwood, top of the range, all singing and dancing. Android Auto, CarPlay stereo. We'll go over that shortly. And in fact, we'll get Purav in the car and he can explain that. But now speakers wise, we've removed the original speakers and replaced in the same stock uh, positions with Rockford Fosgate. So in the front, we've got T4, six and a half inch components. They're like the top of the range. And in the rear, in the stock location on the rear shelf, we've got T2, six and a half inch components. Obviously makes a massive difference to the listening experience inside the cabin, a lot more depth and a lot more clarity. But again, we'll get Purav out and he can explain that. Now, let me show you what's in the boot because this, this is no simple boot install. Let's go and have a look. You ready for this? Now, this is what you call a proper audio build. This was not done in one day. This took 
a couple of weeks to do. There's a lot of thinking behind where the equipment is, the airlift management, the subwoofers and, and so on. So let me explain to you what's in this car. We have two amplifiers. We've got a Rockford T1500.1, which runs the subwoofer. And we've got a Rockford T1000.4, which runs the components in the car. Now sub, that is not a 10 inch, that is not a 12 inch. That is actually a 13 inch woofer. That's a Rockford Fosgate T2 13 inch woofer in a custom enclosure. Now you can imagine this boot is quite deep here to here. So it's quite a big box there. And you're thinking, why have we got speakers in the rear tailgate and a screen? Well, this is a demo vehicle and we do take it to shows. When we're at shows, the doors are open, the tailgate is open, the car is playing. So why not put some speakers in the back, which then elevate that sound and also have a screen here, which shows exactly what we do here at Car Security. The management is mounted there. As you can see, the tank is hidden underneath the build. Now, that's enough of me waffling on. I think it's about time we get this elusive Purav out and go for a drive. So let's go. Right guys, we have Purav with us. He said, all good. Now this is the first time Purav's on the camera. I say first time, there are a couple of videos out there that were shot many, many years ago on YouTube where manufacturers of have asked his opinion on certain products, but actually this is the first video he's done for the Cast TV channel. So, Purav, will you enlighten the audience? How long have you been with us? Uh, 14 years coming up next month. Wow, 14 years, yep. not even I knew that. Um, and uh, what's your role? What's your role within the business? At the moment, pretty much jack of all trades. Okay. Um, I do the tech support on emails, phone calls, manage sales for the shop, uh, run overhead what's going on in the workshop. Yes. Uh, we have everything really. Sort out any problems. Yep. Customer issues. Definitely, yes. Workshop issues. Yep. Chances are if you've emailed in for some tech support or you know if you need to know what harness goes with a particular vehicle, this is the guy that's either answered the email or he's told one of the other staff, this is what you need to recommend. So Purav is an invaluable part of the business. Now, let's talk about the car now. Can you recall what it drove like when we bought the car initially? I know we're talking five and a half years ago we bought this car, stock suspension and so on. Can you remember what it drove like? Um, it was a little bit unsure of itself. It's very tail happy. Yeah. Uh, if you're driving along and just decide to put your foot down a little bit, the back end just will shift out. Even in the drive? Even in the drive, doing normal 30, 40 miles an hour. Put your foot down a bit more, the back will go ahead of yourself. The back end will take control. Is that more suspension setup or is that? So originally I thought it was suspension. Uh, apparently it's a combination between the suspension and the, the wheels and tires that are supplied. Okay. Um, a lot of people are referring mainly as the tires. So okay. I'd say it's something along them. Now there are many videos out there on YouTube where new owners have picked up their Mustang and they're obviously a little bit excited and happy driven out of the dealership, got to the first roundabout, lost it and totaled the car. So that gives you an idea how tail happy these cars are. Now with the airlift suspension, has that made a difference, a massive improvement or you, know, you tell me? The airlift without time bias is ridiculously more comfortable. Um, obviously best of both worlds, lowering the car, keeping the comfort. Uh, trying to lower cars today and feeling in your back is it catches up to yourself. Of so course it does, of course it does. The airlift is perfect for that side of things. Uh, but changing the tires and wheels made the biggest difference. Sure. The control, going around a corner, putting your foot down, you're a bit more confident, and you don't lose the back end. Do you drive this car hard? Occasionally. Okay. It's, okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it's not one of those cars that you could drive sensibly. Nah, you can't, you can't. Especially with the V8 there and that noise coming from that uh, yeah. new exhaust. Right guys, you might have heard some sort of voice recording in the background. That was actually the Thinkware dash cam just kicking in. So whilst we're on dash cams, let's talk security. Now what security upgrades have we done to this car? So obviously we've got the dash cams in front and rear on this one on Thinkware. Uh, we've added a Viper DS4 alarm with a two-way LCD remote. 
and a Smart Track Trident Tracker. What's the idea of the LCD remote? Well, the LCD remote just gives you a confirmed command, so when you have locked it, you know it's been locked. Okay. And you're not worrying, have you did you lock it or did you not lock it? So basically, we, we've left the original Ford alarm in place yep. and upgraded to the new Yeah, Viper so alarm. this is an additional alarm on top okay. of that. Okay. Now, let's talk audio. You've obviously seen there's a massive audio system in this car. Let's talk about the stereo first. DNX 9180 DABS, that's the Kenwood top of the range system. It's a couple of years old now. Originally, this came with the Shaker audio. Now, this obviously is far better than the Shaker stock system, isn't it? Definitely, without a doubt. Shaker system was good, but not for what we want it for. Not for how I drive anyway. I know you love your music, and I know you love to play it loud. Yes, especially the amount of shows we do. Yes. I like my music to be projected. And it's typically sort of R&B, rap, yeah, hip hop. Garage, you know, I'm an 80s baby. Yeah. Okay, okay. Installing this Kenwood stereo, that facial panel, that's obviously not an off the shelf facial panel, is it? No, so originally when we got the car, I always want to change the stereo. I'm really yep. very reluctant to use the original. Um, checked with Connect 2, there was a fitting kit available. I soon noticed it was only for a single climate control. Okay. And all the UK cars I came across had dual climate control. So if we fitted that, I'd lose my heating system. Um, plus the heating system goes through the original touchscreen that was in the car. Okay. So they, obviously I rang them, we got talking, and then they basically said we'll try to develop one with, in conjunction with Scoosh in the US. Yeah. Um, they asked to take the car, and well, gladly said yes, no problem. So the car and they developed the kit, 3D printed the fascia, added two new touchscreens to control the car settings, and the heating system in the car, and to give you a dual climate control uh, control. So this car was used as the development of the guinea pig yep. for this particular fascia. Yep. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. We've had this car five and a half years, nearly correct, yeah? Five and a half years, yep, exactly. We normally keep the demo cars for about three years, use them for the business, and then move them on and get something else. And because of COVID, we've not been able to go to many shows, especially for 2020 there are virtually no shows so i think it is time to move this car on at some point so don't start sending us messages for prices the car's not for sale at this moment in time now when we do come to replace this car what do you think we should replace it with if if boss man raj damn that's me said let's replace the mustang what would you replace it with so i let a kid in a sweet shop so you can have whatever he wants <laughs> um to be honest I'm not actually entirely sure. I do miss the Dodge without question or doubt. Yeah. That was a different experience in itself. Well, we can't go back to that. We've, we've been no. there, we've seen it, we've done it. Could always go a bigger version of it. What's a bigger version of that? Hellcat. <clears throat> Didn't you say a Hellcat? Okay, um, I, don't think, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Let, let's bring it down a, At a least I didn't say Demon. You know, what about the new Supra? I don't... Mind the Supra? The, super, the problem with the Supra is it's a BMW of Z4. Course, yeah. Yes. Uh, technically, it's lost its, its presence. Mm. And I, I think I've always said to you, when you're doing a car, you want first things first before you've even done anything. That's just a wow car of in course. itself. Yes. And then when you go to redo the, the touches onto it, the suspension, the wheels, the audio, yeah. it just puts that extra wow factor into what people are looking at shows or they come to us to look for. You know, even like the, for example, the Challenger. After we did ours, the amount of challenges that came through us, you know, people had come down from some other places, what is stereo is doing, air suspension doing. Yeah, that's true. I remember yeah. on the back of the Challenger, even on the, the back of the Mustang, the amount of Mustangs yeah. we've done on air and audio, we've sort of become the go to guys. Yeah. With, uh, Once you've got it and done it, you get yeah. that trust that a lot of other people will come into you and say to you, yeah, I want this doing as well. So uh, how much attention does this car get? Uh, it's quite nice, to be honest. It's, uh, it is a lot. Yeah, I've but noticed even just driving around here, there's people- Yeah, people stop and stay, stop and staring. Stay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed that. Uh, it does look great, especially on the move. It just looks so mean. And even though there are quite a few of this shape Mustangs in the UK, it's not something you see all the time, is it? It's not, it's just, it's one of those things. Everybody knows what a Mustang is. Yeah. 
and they've got a, a, like a mutual respect to just acknowledge the vehicle. Everyone will say, we'll drive past, nod their heads or just to say hello or just like nice car. Now you say you do like giving this car some beans. Yep. Give it some beans. No problem. It's got tempo. Sounds lovely too. Woo! It's pretty good actually. Right, I think it's time we got back to car security. Uh, let Purab do his work. Appreciate you taking the time out from your busy day no to um, show us this fantastic build on the Stang. Uh, no doubt we'll get Purav back in in another car and on the channel soon. So, look forward to it. See you soon. See you. Right guys, there you have it. Uh, Mustang 5 litre V8. What a fantastic car. Thank you very much Purav for his time. I know he wants to get back and do some sales. Now, as always guys, any questions you have, just drop them down below and we'll do our best to answer them. What do you think of the build? What do you think of the wheels, the air, the audio? Let us know. Um, the next episode will be another one of our car discovery demo cars but one we've already featured on the channel and it'll be the GI Yaris. Now, I did say when I bought that car, we're gonna get the staff out in the car. Once it's done, it's sort of running in miles. I think it's sitting on 1500 miles now. Want to get the staff in that car, drive the car and get their opinion on and take on what they think about the car. Is it all hype? The talk about the GR, is it just all BS? Well, let's see what the staff say. Now, from me, thanks for watching, really appreciate you taking the time out to watch this video. If you liked it, just smash that like button now, share and obviously subscribe to the channel. I'll be back soon.